Here's what the rest of your Wednesday looks like. 79 degrees at noon, 84 at 5. That's where we tap out for the day. But we'll feel like 90 once we factor in that humidity. And again, that isolated uh, shower or storm is possible for the second half of the day. Now overnight will remain dry, partly cloudy, still humid temperatures dipping back into the mid and upper 60s. And we're going to repeat the setup for the next couple of days. So tomorrow, partly cloudy, we get that peak daytime heating. We could see an isolated shower or storm and then the same setup on Friday. A lot of the next couple of days will actually present a lot of dry time. So again, I wouldn't cancel any plans. You're gonna have to find uh, ways to stay cool more than anything, uh, even over the isolated chance of showers and storms. And nothing looks to be severe, which is good news. I know we're coming off of a rough week last week. So that's all we have for the next couple of days, pretty much copy and paste, but we do get a little bit warmer each and every day. 85 degrees tomorrow, 86 on Friday, the isolated chance of showers and storms each and every afternoon and evening and we'll hold on to that humidity all the while as well. Saturday a cold front will come through. The timing is still in question on that but when that cold front does come through we'll bring in scattered showers and storms but behind that front is cooler and drier air and less humid conditions. We'll all appreciate that by the time we get into Sunday and next week.